Hello and welcome to Cutting to the Bull in the post truth Apocalypse. I'm Ben, and I'm joined by the returning man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Gareth Dixon. Welcome Hello. back, guys. Hello, thanks for having me. He's here, in the flesh. Yeah. And Mike. Hello. Science I'm officer. still here. He's still here, he never leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does live here. <laughs> yeah, there is that. <laughs> This week we're going to talk about the murder of Kim Val, I believe you pronounce it. Kim Val. Kim Val by Peter Madsen, the eccentric Danish inventrepreneur. That's a new one. And he owns a submarine. Well, he doesn't just own it, does he? This is why until the... Well, we're not giving anything away. He murders somebody. But until the murder, I mean, building a submarine that works... It's impressive. It's quite fucking impressive, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Because I'm no That's expert, so. but... They're quite complicated. There's lots of like dials and pressure and they are. are they simple in principle? I don't know. And he was trying to become the first amateur in space. Amateur astronaut. There's two words, isn't there? There's two words that inevitably lead to certain death. Amateur astronaut. There's bound oh, to be. I'm thinking of that tragic what was his name? Mike. Oh the that guy in the rocket. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, Mad Mike. Mad Mike, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but he was Rest also trying peace. to prove the earth was flat. <laughs> Yeah, it him. could go down that route, you see, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could do. He's dead now. But I mean, it's like... <laughs> yeah, his rocket blew up. His steam-powered rocket. <laughs> so, it's, you know, to become an amateur astronaut, it takes some doing. Well, I mean, I'm not Wallace, saying... Wallace managed it. Yeah. All he, all he had was a dog to help. I mean, yeah. it was a talk. Well, it doesn't talk, does he? Grum it. Was that rocket powered by cheese, though? Was it powered? No, the moon was made of cheese. Oh, that's right. I'm not sure what powered the rocket, but anyway, yes. So that was probably all sounded a bit confusing. Yeah, there's a well, bloke. He built a submarine and killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get well, into it. Yeah. <laughs> Just thanks for new returning listeners first. Where should we start? London in the UK, Sittingbourne in the UK, Vancouver in Edinburgh, Vancouver in Canada. What am I on about? Brussels in Belgium, Guadalajara, Spain, Council Bluffs in the US, Ashburn, Virginia in the US. And Madrid in Spain is a little selection for you. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Facebook at Coin to the Bull and the Post Truth Apocalypse, YouTube Apocalypse Bull, and SoundCloud and Spotify and all other podcasting platforms at Cutting to the Bull in the PTA. That's the admin out of the way. Let's get into it. So, August 21st, 2017, a cyclist discovered a human torso washed up on the shore of the Kleisdosen. I don't know how to say that. I've heard it about three times this afternoon and I still can't bloody pronounce Try it. Try like this, Clyde, this awesome. That'll do. <laughs> An area south of Copenhagen. Hey. <laughs> Investigators determined the remains, which an unknown assailant had repeatedly stabbed, belonged to missing Swedish journalist Kim Vall. And the autopsy led medical examiners to include the assailant either stabbed it either at the time of death or shortly afterwards. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. Kim Vall... Mm-hmm. Is a quite was it was a quite noted journalist. She'd been to several hot spots across the globe. Yeah, very clever woman, two bit two degrees, and she was about to go to China after this interview. But before she went to China, they were like, "Hey, we want you to interview this sort of." He's a bit of a minor celebrity, isn't he, Peter yeah. Mad- Madsen in Dutch Denmark? Island, apparently, yeah. And he's got his own submarine, and he wants to become the first man in space off. As an amateur astronaut. And she's like, well, this is fantastic because he lives like 40 minutes from, from where I grew up and he lives two minutes down the road. Yeah. This is superb. So she does and she spends time filming him and interviewing him and trying to get him to know him a little bit. And he, he's kind of got this whole, oh, like a lab in, 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 in the Docklands of Copenhagen. He's got like a massive workshop, hasn't he, right yeah. there on the docks where he built this submarine. And apparently he lived there as well. They have got, they think he he was sleeping and staying there, wasn't he? So. Yes. And he's got volunteers there and interns, yeah. hasn't he? Unpaid yeah. interns. Unpaid. Brilliant minds. Allegedly, I don't know. I, yes, he was, but at the same time... No, I mean, sorry, I was about... They, so oh, they young, are brilliant minds. Young, brilliant minds wasting themselves for free because they were under the spell of... Peter. And he was charismatic, yeah. is charismatic, and he's clever. He's never passed a degree in his life. No, that's that's interesting, isn't it, that he kept going from thing to thing, but he must be good, because he did know his shit, well, he knows his shit more than me. Well, but, that submarine worked, didn't it? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. Say if you're a young engineer, and there's a guy, 
you know, he's charismatic, he's enthusiastic, and he's on about, we're going to go to fucking space. Yeah. We've been to the, down in the sea. I've got a working fucking submarine there that I can show you. That's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to build a fucking rocket. I could see me as a young engineer being like, fuck yeah, this is, I'll work for you for free because space, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, and that's the, the only thing that bugs me with the submarine mm. called it the fucking Nautilus. The Nautilus. It's like, don't you like that? Well, I used to think it's unoriginal. Yeah, what's that from? I don't... Twenty thousand leagues uh, in the sea. Because I thought it was quite a cool name for money, but he's nicked it. Because yeah. I like the way they pronounce it when it's gone missing on the documentary. Yeah. Nautilus. Oh, the Nautilus. Nautilus. <laughs> you think naughty lass? <laughs> hey. <laughs> but so, and Kim as well. Wasn't she kind of known? She was. She's one of those journalists that would go into war zones. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, she was hardcore. Like she wasn't a shy shrinking violet. No, no. She was uh, like interviewing female mm. fighters for the Tamil Tigers in Burma mm. at one point. Holy fuck. And I know how bad Burma was because I've seen Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Fuck it up. Them Tamil Tigers had fuck all at the end of that film. Yeah. yeah. Well, because Rambo blew them all up. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he pretty much won that war for them. <laughs> With a massive calibre yeah. machine gun. Anyway. <laughs> so when they said she can run you interview this guy on his submarine mm. she's like yeah all right that's easy yeah you know i only live five minutes down the road she was at a party wasn't she yeah she yeah. left a party left her boyfriend left her own party it was a party because yeah. she was going to china yeah, that's it to yeah. go and do this interview and she's like i've got this one opportunity to a boyfriend she said you know he's an eccentric guy and i want to get this story before i go off and do the other story I don't, I'm slightly jumping ahead, but like one of the saddest parts of it is when she texts her boyfriend. Oh fuck yeah! Just before she gets on the submarine, and she texts him, "I'm still alive." alive. Lol. Yeah. <sighs> he bought cookies and coffee. Yeah, love you, love you. Yeah. Oh god. But for like, as we were saying now off mic, from her point of view, if anyone's listening, thinking, "Well, she's a silly twat for getting on a submarine on her own with." The guy was a celebrity, minor celebrity. He was being followed by a documentary crew at the time. He, you know, what would give her the thought that <laughs> exactly. like, he's going to fucking... And we'll get into the murder, because it wasn't just any old murder. No. You no. know, he went, he went full in, didn't he? Just a bit. So you can't blame her for thinking... So in her you wouldn't head, even think about no, it, would you? I'm just going to pop on this submarine. That's fun. We're going to pop okay, down. Okay, that's dangerous. A yeah, little bit. but it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. But if anything's going to go wrong, you think it's going to be with the submarine, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You'd think that. Yeah. Being but... homemade and all. <laughs> Do an interview. That might be in the back of your mind, but yeah. that's, that's it, really. Other yeah. than that, you think that this guy is well known. Yeah. I mean, he'd, he'd originally like had this company called Copenhagen Suborbital, hadn't he? Where he'd mm. actually worked with a guy that used to work for NASA. Yeah. Then they fell they out. Fell now, out. On the documentary we watched, it didn't give you a reason why no. they fell out. No. no. But from what very I, bitter about from it. From what I yeah. gathered from listening mm. to a few podcasts about this, he basically accused the other guy of not wanting to live the dream because he wanted to spend time with his family. Ah, uh, right. So you don't want to go to space, you'd rather spend time <laughs> with your family. Well, he did You're say, not into this. Yeah. He did say that he was banned from the launch, didn't he? Right. He was like, I help, I'm basically made this thing and they're, they're yeah. banning me from the launch. But what I like is that he built his new workshop within <laughs> eyesight. Literally, yeah. You could and literally that's spit on the... It was on 180 metres away. That's, that's the fucking so, narcissism of yeah, the man. Yeah, yeah. So and at one point there was two rockets ready to go out on there <laughs> and he was like, they're both my babies. <laughs> man. I mean, I wouldn't get on a submarine anyway. I'm not. No, a, fuck that. I'm not a fan of it's boats. Not for me. I don't like being on boats. So I don't. Oh, this one goes under the water. Well, <laughs> fuck off. The only time boats are supposed to be under water is they fucking sink. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not supposed to be on it when that happens. Here you go. Then let's let's prove how stupid we all are. Like, oh, you might surprise me. So how does it work? Submarines. Yeah. All right. You have your main hull. And at the yeah. side of the hull, you have these ballast tanks. Right. They can be filled with water, or you use air pressure to discharge that water. Right, and that makes you go down. So you fill the tank slowly, you gradually mm. sink, mm. and you you use the ballast to stay at a certain depth, Right. Okay. basically. And when you want to go back up, you mm. use the air pressure to expel 
the the water from the tanks to make you lighter and float back up. I am. It's engineering marvel, really. Colour me it? impressed, Ben. Thank you very much. <laughs> Although I'm not quite sure he's had a his was a submarine. Mm. It's a miniature submarine, right. technically. Okay. A bit um, like the one that went down to the Titanic. That's a submersible. Yeah, and you that see, was a fucking <laughs> shit show is what that yeah. was. If you honestly, if I'm a billionaire, right, and they say, right, you, you, I, I paid millions for this fucking mm. ticket on this sub to go down and look at the Titanic, mm. and the dude's like, oh yeah, this is the controller, and it's a fucking PlayStation 1 oh. control pad. I'm, like, I'm not getting on that. Oh, man. I'm not getting First on that. First thing I'm saying, has this been tested I'm, to like, death? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And the other thing is, going down to see the Titanic, like you pressed up against that little <laughs> yeah, portal. Tiny portal. Yeah, I could see some shit covered in mollusks and all. I guess that's a boat. <laughs> Where's Leonardo DiCaprio? I mean, what, what are you getting out of going oh, no. down there to look at it? It's fucked. It's on the bottom of the sea. Yeah. It's morbid. Let it be. Yeah, just fuck off. What do you... What do you... I, no, nothing could interest me less. Mm. But nothing. I'm, I'm not convinced that submarines have windows or portholes. And his had portholes. So his is more of a submersible. I think submersible might be a better way to... Or at least right. midget submarine. Yeah. Because um, aren't, like... Big army ones are nuclear powered, aren't they? Oh god, yeah. You know them things are like everything's recycled, isn't it? It's mm. fucking ridiculous. They stay under the water for six months. Jesus Pete, who does the part, of this, mm. he was a submariner. Yeah. Oh, awesome. No. No, crazy man. Crazy. Fuck you know. that. I mean, awesome for him. <laughs> Not for me. No, I would. Twelve hours. Twelve hours on. Twelve hours off. You roll into bed. The other guy's rolling out of it. Uh, I'd rather fucking. You know, he's probably been, he's been farting and fucking sweating in that all night. But it smells on a submarine. Oh god, it? yeah. Apparently, well, what he said is it when he noticed when he got back to land, like months later, mm. and they opened the hatch. Mm. The smells were all new. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, the yeah. smell of the sea, the smell yeah. of the fish and chips. That, you yeah. know what I mean? And you caught every disease going because you've been in basically in quarantine yeah. for six months. I wouldn't ever. Yeah. No, not me. No. So Peter Madsen agrees to take her for this interview on the submarine. Yeah. He then comes to, he's been gone a bit, and no one, everyone's like, oh, maybe they got into difficulty. Yeah. Oh, we should say, sorry, just to, we're getting a lot of this from the documentary in, what's it called? Oh, Into the Deep? Into the Deep on Netflix, or In the Deep. It's definitely some Into the Deep or In the Deep on Netflix. I've forgot, oh, forgotten a name, but that lady, not Kim Vall, a, a separate journalist, was filming him and had been filming him for a long time. For yeah. a documentary so we've got literally you can see the footage of the so as you're about to say ben that he's gone out with her it's the morning after and these young interns are like where the like where is he they're very concerned they don't know he's killed someone they think fuck he's gone he's the, he's submarine, yeah. the submarine's failed yeah and so they're genuinely they're in bits aren't they like what the fuck's going on man and there's a photo of him and her taken by oh, some fishermen. It's horrible. And they, they're kind of on the... Because it's got like a little conning mm. tower, they call it. Yeah. And they're kind of both on that, waving. Yeah. And you're thinking, oh, that's, that's nice. Mm. And then... Just as the sun's going down. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's very picturesque. Mm. So then they... Then and they find him, they find the sub. They find the sub, he's in it on his own, and it starts yeah. to sink. Yeah. He's picked up by... A helicopter and a, and a rescue boat comes along, takes a submarine in tow. He must put some kind of winch underneath it or some kind of... Because uh, he's probably de he's deliberately flooded the submarine at this point. Yeah. So, well, there goes my crime scene. <laughs> uh, well, his excuse at first was that it, the hatch failed, wasn't it, or something? And he was trying to fix something and it flooded. Couldn't he, get the hatch open and uh, she, she went down with the... No, he dropped her off first. His story oh, kept... Yeah. On yeah. First his he story said, changed three times. Yeah, he is. said I dropped her off. So he says, he goes, so when they just pull him out of the yeah. sea, and they're like, and the police are like, how are you, Pete? Are you okay? And he's like, yeah, yeah, thumbs up, I'm great. This is literally on camera, he gives a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm great, I'm fucking great. And they're like, well, well where's, where's Kim Vol? Oh, I dropped her off. Yeah. She wanted to go to a restaurant. Yeah. So I dropped her off at this That's at, it, at the yeah. point at this point and then yeah. I continued back and I got into difficulty so the police went alright then so they contacted the, the the boyfriend's heard nothing yeah he's freaking out he's freaking out so they contact the guy that owns the restaurant who's got yeah. this area tremendously well covered by CCTV yeah and they're like 
you weren't there and she definitely wasn't there yeah. so let's have another chat they arrest him on the spot once they figure that out mm, yeah. which is interesting actually because the British police wouldn't have done that mm. and in, also in Denmark they charge him with manslaughter manslaughter and murder are the same thing in Denmark right you have involuntary manslaughter for your accidental deaths. Right, yeah. But manslaughter is classed as murder. But well, what I'm led to believe from a podcast I listened to earlier... It is the slaughter of a man. It is. Isn't it? Which is murder, I guess. Can we still say manslaughter? Can we what, sorry? Can we still say manslaughter? Oh, for fucking hell. Don't, don't. People slaughter. People, oh, person slaughter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Zizer slaughter. Oh, yeah, what if you, what if you identify as a cat? Oh, fuck me. I did an hour training at my new job to drive a van, Ben. An hour's training on pronouns. Really? Yeah. Wow. I thought, I work on my fucking own, you stupid cunt. So, so what did you decide your pronouns were? Uh, Miss Jet uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, fuck, <laughs> no, no, neither do they. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he's, so his next story, after he's like, okay, okay, I didn't drop her off. No, I didn't. But then some fumes. I was up on right. up on the deck, yeah, that's and it. the hatch was closed, and I was just enjoying the scenery, you know. Yeah. And when I got down. I smelt this awful thing. Of, oh my god! There's been an engine leak. There's been a, and there's, yeah. the gases have come out. And she was unconscious on the floor. So yeah. I decided the best thing I could do was bury her at sea. Yeah. Not take her body back no. for her parents to have no. a body to bury and to no. mourn and no. grieve in the usual manner. No, no, no just. Literally just kind of throw her overboard. But he couldn't just throw her overboard, could he? No, no, he couldn't. He had to cut her up. <laughs> God. And bear in mind that people then started to notice that certain things from the workshop were missing, yeah. like the wood saw, yeah. several sharpened screwdrivers, yeah. things like that, Nate, of that ilk. It's so creepy when you watch this documentary because they, they're they sort of figuring it out in real time, aren't they? They are, they're, they're like, they're like, oh, like hang on. There was an orange handled wood saw hanging up behind him. Why would he have that? So they look at the footage, and like, yeah, there it is. Then they look at the footage from like a few hours later where they know he's been to the submarine and back, and they're like, it's fucking gone. And do you know what his excuse was for taking it? He's got to put up some shelves. <laughs> <laughs> because she says, doesn't she, the duck, she's like, why the fuck we need a wood saw in an all metal submarine? Yeah, he's got to put some shelves up. Oh. And, and the police are like, look. You are not putting wooden shelves up in a submarine. Fuck me. It's not going to happen. You're not doing it. Where are you going to screw it to, you dickhead? <laughs> You're an engineer. Why are you trying to screw wooden shelves <laughs> into the metal hull of your submersible vehicle? But they're very nice shelves <laughs> from Ikea. I mean, submarine, I'd imagine submarines aren't that fucking stable, especially miniature no. submarines. No. So if he's got a nice little display of some Danish... Danish pottery figurines up mm. on his wooden shelf. The second he goes to dive and the nose tips, they've all gone. Shelves are pointless. Yeah, no, I bet they haven't got. Sh- ask your mate. Who, I bet they haven't got shelves, have they? <laughs> no, <laughs> they have cupboards and things. And all through this, they're filming the volunteers and their reactions. Yeah. At first, they're like really concerned. This is yeah. almost like a hero worship. Denial. Them. And they're like, oh, he wouldn't have done it. Then he must no. have turned the truth. Yeah, yeah. And then as the story changes each time, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. their faces are like. Mm. And they start looking and piecing together yeah. dodgy messages yeah, like that it. he yeah. sent that at the it's time. Quite seemed, up now, does it? Yeah. Well, he sent at the time seemed like a weird joke, but they took it as a joke where he's like, oh, I could kill you and cut you up. Well, oh, like, the journalist. Yeah, yeah. the other journalist uh, is texting. Mm. So, go, oh, Peter, I'm struggling with my, my deadline. Send me a death threat. Just to, no, she it, says, inspire me or something. Yeah. Like, and he's like, I'll fucking kill you and cut you into tiny I t- pieces. I'll tie you up on the submarine and cut you into pieces. That's not a death threat. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care how well you know someone. Yeah. Sending them that. Mm. I'd be, like, be like, the fuck? Yeah. But she just took it as a joke, didn't yeah. she? Just like, bit of dark humour yeah because you do have dark yeah. humour with your close friends don't you I know but not oh. that not, I've never threatened to kill any of my close <laughs> friends for a joke <laughs> if I, I say I'm going to kill you I'm going to kill you I have threatened to bury your body in the woods <laughs> yeah but everyone's trying to do that like I'm a politician <laughs> oh man so and then another story he told didn't he was that the hatch yes big heavy hatch I imagine 70 kilograms he said that hatch that's, that's about 100 Twenty pounds in, mm. in English weight. That's 
heavy. Very heavy. 70 kilogram hatch. That's fucking heavy. It hit you on the head, you fuck. So he reckoned, he said that the, there was an accident, the hatch hit her on the head, killed her outright. Yeah. And he panicked. What the fuck do I do? He couldn't fit her body through the hatch in one, which doesn't make sense to me, because how the fuck do you get in it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would imagine carrying a, a body up a ladder would tax. Yeah, that's not going to be physically. Because he wasn't like big, like he looks like quite small, like quite a short, stocky little yeah. bloke. I don't know, he might be quite strong. But either way, so then he's like that. Then led to me basically, I, I cut her into pieces. He cut the torso, cut, cut the head off, yeah. arms off, legs off, torso. Oh God! Which is actually how you would. After reading several survival accounts mm. from back in the day, that's actually how you carry a body. Right. You take the head, arms, legs, uh. you tie those to the torso, mm. and then kind of carry it like a backpack. Just leave oh, me there. Just, just leave me there. I yeah, don't but the, want to no, bury no, this, is, this is how you, if you're going to eat them after, oh, guys. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, take the body back. <laughs> just take the body back and say, look. And if your story's true, she's going to have a pretty fucking hefty skull fracture Yeah, that's going to confirm your story. And but no, that's not what happened. And didn't he say in court as well, the fucker, that this was all to like protect the family from like, embarrassment know, the truth and all. and all that? No, 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 like, mate, uh, no, it's because you're a narcissist. You tried to cover your crimes. <laughs> but you you sp- thought you'd get away with it. You thought you could, you know, peter your way out of it. it. Do you yeah. think that it's his own, it's definitely his own narcissism, his own little cult of personality he thinks he's got going. Yeah, and he was in... I heard on a pod that he and... Because he's had several like wives, girlfriends over the years. They would go to, like, swinger clubs. Fetish and clubs. Fetish clubs. But apparently he wasn't that... Like, he wasn't, like, joining in. He was, like, the weirdo on the mm. side staring at everyone sort of thing. Because he didn't mix that well with other people. No. no. And the police found some dodgy stuff yeah. on his computer. He was Googling... And that motherfucker. So he was Googling literally snuff films. Now, I've got a theory on this. If you Google snuff films, I don't believe snuff films should come up. No. I believe Google has a fucking responsibility to somehow, if someone types in snuff film, no, you're not having them results. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'd have thought. Yeah, fuck mm. you. I mean, if he's using the dark web, I get it. Mm. Right? That would come up, dark Google. But yeah. he's just on he's just Google. Googling. And he's Googling decapitation woman fear yeah like women in pain women in fear snuff films so this was a thing that he was building him he was working himself into a into a stupor with this escalation yeah that's the word he's becoming so inured watching the porn yeah. Doesn't quite get him off as hard mm. as he used to. Well, he isn't no, just he's dreaming about. Point. He's dreaming about the real thing. Isn't yeah. He wants to do the real thing because yeah. he thinks he's not going to get him off even harder. He'll yeah. come. I mean, he, he will come watch... harder than he's ever come before. They reckon he was. He was. He was watching films of bed. There's quite a famous film. I've never seen it, but I'm aware of its existence. There's a video of it's one of the cartels in Mexico. They've got some young girl at the side of the road. Mm. She's done something wrong to them, and they behead her. At the with a knife road. yeah I've seen the screenshot of when it's about to start that's it. I'm aware of it but I've never I wouldn't do you remember it. the old faces of death yeah I watched that and that's still with me I can picture yeah. that that one on the floor where they're like bang 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 yeah. and one goes in his oh mate that presenter as well Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a like classic too. video. Yeah. That is what classic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic. Oh, I watched that for a good bit. Let's just say, <laughs> but yeah, we watched them and we were horrified by yeah, them. I we, can't, we're not turned on. No, I can't take videos of people. I don't like falling down, hurting porn, themselves. I don't films like no. hostile and sore. Don't like anyone hurting themselves. I don't like seeing limbs go the wrong way, like anything like that. If I'm watching the wrestling mate and it looks like they're going to land on the other, oh my god! No, I can't do it. Which I think is normal. Yeah, you're not sitting there yeah. with your yeah. cock in yeah. going, I'll oh, break something, you no. <laughs> I might be a bit more of a pussy than the average person. <laughs> I genuinely can't, because I know people that will sit, my friend Spooner watches carve crash videos on a fucking loop. I'm like, mate, someone just died in that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do have oh, this God. occasional Instagram reel comes up, because and it's like people having accidents, but you never see the bodies mm. get mashed up. It's like, like yeah. a power boat, for example, right. flipped forwards, and like mm. the two blokes are just immediately 
ejected Catapulted, and you yeah. see two silhouettes go flying <laughs> 70 feet and land in the water and you're like oh they're dead you know that kind of thing. you don't see the blood and the splatter yeah but no, yeah, but and I, I agree with you. I don't watch Saw. I don't watch Host. I think if you're watching no. that shit as recreation, yeah. I'm not into it. Yeah, because the thing is, like horror films, I find them horrifying. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't want to be in a state of being horrified. I don't it because whatever I watch, I'll be thinking about. Well, oh yeah, no, not into any of that. But Peter, Peter was massively into that. In court, he actually said, "Oh, I don't see the problem." <laughs> he's like it's just like watching a, a horror film oh no it's well, not first, Peter he, he tried to blame it on the <gasps> intern that's what I was going to say that motherfucker these young interns yeah. with their whole lives ahead of him who've dedicated their time and expertise to him for free he tries chucking one of them under the bus yeah, and saying yeah. now it was his yeah that hard we all use that hard drive yeah. we all live there yeah I'm oh, sorry just on the computer though they literally say in the documentary I don't know what the Danish police were playing at, but they were sat there in the warehouse going, this is when they're starting to clock that, you know, something untoward has happened. And they're sat in the workshop, sorry. And one of them's like, well, the Peter's computer is still, it's yeah. still there. No one's been to get it. Why haven't they been to get his fucking Six computer? Yeah. Maybe they've got the searches on, they've asked the search engine, mm. the company. Oh, they, yeah. Maybe they've, Give all the details. I don't know. Yeah, that's a possibility. Can provider. you? Yeah, can we have? Can we have everything off Maybe. that IP, please? Oh, I don't know for certain, but yeah, could be that. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. No. He then. So we've had the two changes then. So two stories. Yeah. Well, more than that, isn't it? Like he, four at this point. It. So first we, one was. So the first dropped one her off, dropped her off. Second one, she had oh, an yeah. accident. It's a red. And the sub went the poisoning. And the, po- and the carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. So that's three. That's three. Fourth was, well, I had to bury it at sea. Yeah, yeah. Fifth was, I had to chop it to pieces. Couldn't get a free And weigh down with scrap metal to do that. Well, yeah. that's it. This is October 7th, 2017, divers found Vol's head and legs in Cougar Bay, a little more than half a mile from where the investigators recovered her torso. The assailant deliberately tried to conceal her body as police discovered the remains in plastic bags. Along with her head and legs, someone had filled the bags with scrap metal to weigh down the evidence. Did he, I wonder, did he just, was there just heavy shit lying around in the sub, which there could be, or he took some bits off, or did he load up some shit? Mm, I think he loaded it up. Yeah, because he took his tools with him. Yeah, sort of premeditated, isn't it? Massively premeditated. Apparently, you should never attempt to throw a body out with sea, it mm. will wash up. Somebody said on something like the sea never lies, man. Like you think you've chucked it in the sea, it'll never come. You'll never see that again. They found everything. They found the, we- the weapons he yeah. used. They found all the body yeah. part. Like it'll all get washed up. How did he Come even out. think that he could get away oh, with it? It's because it's his own court of personality. It's in his head. He's, no one will ever arrest me. I'm Peter Manson. Mm. This is what I. If I could have a word of him, I'd be like Peter. Everything you wanted was on the cusp of happening. They were following you with a camera crew. They were making a documentary about your brilliance, your, you know, your eccentric brilliance. Like, all you had to do was not kill anyone. <laughs> That's all you had to do. You could be in space now, you silly cunt. <laughs> or die trying. What did he say? He said we're either going to go out as heroes or criminals. Uh, he had a choice. Yeah. And he's been interviewed on that doc before he's killed anyone, saying, if you're accused of something, you deny it. Yeah. Always deny Right. <laughs> well that came true and also when he that's a chilling bit where I'm paraphrasing but where he says to the documentary maker he's like you know I've been very honest with you maybe too honest but are you aware that there are psychopaths among us <laughs> oh fuck me where's uh, this going Pete um, he's like uh, they're predators yeah and he says but do they know they're psychopaths we don't know like, oh, you're questioning aren't you you're questioning yourself yeah, am I a fucking clearly. psychopath Quite clearly. He leaves little clues along the line. Yeah. Really. Oh. I suspect there's got to be some part... If you're watching, like, snuff, there's got to be some part of your brain that's going, am I a psychopath or mm. am I just, like, do I have this sexual abnormality? Mm. Am I just a psychopath? And you suppose you would question something, why, can't, why, why is this getting me off? Yeah. And, you know, sexual can... No, kinks are a strange thing aren't they I mean mm. the younger generation they're porn adult now and so are we to a point well <laughs> you know 
Do you know what I'm saying? It's like... I do. But kink, like, you're not allowed to kink shame in this day and age, but I believe we should fucking bring think, back kink shame. I think when it comes down to snuff or feet. <laughs> Mate, when there's fucking naked men dressed as dogs leading each other around Ikea in the middle of the day and no one's saying anything, it's gone too far. Bring back kink shaming. <laughs> they should have had their fucking heads kicked in. <laughs> should have been beaten like dogs. Oh, yeah. Does that mean they piss up stuff? I'd be beating one of them going, how dare you dress like this in front of my non-existent children, but if they did exist and they were with me, they'd be very disturbed. <laughs> See, I had that argument with these, these guys. On the, some guy went to watch a Shakespeare performance in a gimp suit and they said it was all right. Um, like, no. no, it's not. No, nah, they should have got his head kicked in, mate. <laughs> Stoke That's his the head problem. The fire That's the problem. Is because they don't get their heads kicked in. Everyone's emboldened now. But Just, uh, ten years ago, they would have had their heads kicked in. Get, anyway. the, get the fire extinguisher, <laughs> go up behind him and stove his fucking skull in. <laughs> Trust me, mate. It's for the best. Yeah. Bang for everyone concerned. <laughs> for society. Yes, yes. Are you really enjoying Shakespeare or are you having a bit of a sexual moment here? Well, you know he's hard. Oh, God. he sat there. Not when I finish with him. Um, <laughs> well, I have to rig a mortar. Hang on. No, I don't mean I'd, like, I'd get rid of the hard on by sexually satisfying well. him. That, no. Uh, back, Peter, what was he up to? I was just going to a mortis, but... <laughs> I'm going to take you to the peak of ecstasy. <laughs> then I'll blow your mind. <laughs> Bless him. So, during the... So it goes to trial, and Peter's kind of, like, standing up in court. Mm. He's got a... De- he's a defence lawyer's worst nightmare. Because yeah. he's, like, standing up in court and being really enthusiastic about shit. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, there's a CO2 leak, obviously. You know, and this, so they got a Danish lieutenant commander in, lieutenant commander, and he's like, no, no CO2 in that submarine. Yeah. So he clearly tried to flood the submarine to get the blood out of the way. Mm. Didn't he? It's like, you know, with him sinking the submarine as they found him, it's a bit like if I've gone missing for a while... And like you find me, and I'm outside my house, you know, Gaz, and I'm going, yeah, with me lighter. I'll be there in a minute. Just, Gaz, why are you setting your house on fire? No reason. <laughs> There's nothing in here that I'm trying to get rid of. Fucking, uh, Pete. Just to go back, sorry, just that finish that point we were on about a second ago. Like, so he's watched all these snuff films built himself up into a stupor. He's been planning it because he's laid it out to other women, hasn't he? In a, under the guise of joking, but he's literally just laid out his plan. I'll take you on a submarine. Stand he even you, said to that up. one journalist, the other one, mm. I'll take you out tomorrow, didn't he? Yeah. He asked quite a few wasn't women. Wasn't it a young, it was one of the young interns, she was yeah. very upset by it, wasn't she? Mm. She Was Was she an intern, was she? Yeah, I believe so, the dark haired The girl. one that they no, she was digitally a altered her face. Didn't yeah, they? and they altered her voice, if you yeah. listen back to it. It's like a weird, like the voice doesn't quite fit. But yes, it was on her phone. She worked at the workshop, and he literally laid it out. Yeah, I'm going to like, bind, bind you, bind you yeah. up on the submarine and kill you. Under the guise of joking. So I think, like, so he's worked himself up into the stupor. He's been planning it. He knows he wants to do it, and his narcissism has led him to then believe I can get away with this. Yeah, I've got a submarine. I'll do it on the sub, chuck her out of the sea, sink uh, everything, perfect crime. Can I crime. just point out the phallicness of his entire life? <laughs> <laughs> right, think about it, I've got a submarine, what's a submarine look like? It's a big dick, right, isn't it? And what's he making? Rockets? What are rockets? They're big dicks. Yeah. Like when the vagina's aerodynamic, people will make rockets that yeah. shape. I was about to say, there's some comedian who's like, who's saying like when... Oh, what is that about? Like rockets are all phallic and like men. Have you tried firing a fanny-shaped rocket? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doesn't work. For all you know, penises they're aerodynamic. Can't help it. <laughs> Guitars they're phallic. That's just what shape they are. I hate that phallic thing. But he did have a, is a lot of his interests involved cock-shaped things. Well, that is true. S- screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. <laughs> a saw, if you think about it. <laughs> don't want to see your penis. <laughs> As everyone saw back. <laughs> You've got a barbed penis. <laughs> barbed for her pleasure. <laughs> a burial at sea. Burial at sea sounds like, you know, like there's some respect. You fucking lobbed a yeah. body overboard. <laughs> a burial- Dumped it like a sack of shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> it probably fucking cracked off the hull as it fell into the sea. It's not a dignified thing where like there's a bunch of people in uniform and there's a flag on top of the body and you you slide it in. It's not like Starship Troopers where they fire off that coffin into space. Yeah. One of my favourite, I don't know why, but Stone Cold Steve Austin on his podcast, it took me a while to work out what he meant. But when he means chucking something, he says, I shit canned it. <laughs> I shit canned it over the side. I shit canned it out the window. Like, he fucking shit canned her body yeah. out the fucking. Yeah, that's probably the, the best description, actually. It, it was a yeah. burial at sea. Fuck. <laughs> I think he's, he's, he's innocent. He's, I'm innocent. I'm innocent in all of this. Mm-hmm. That's the, he maintains his innocence. Oh no! I've just read a line on there, Ben. The second paragraph. I'll let you. Yeah. So after he's still proclaiming his innocence after the discovery of the body, and in court on October third, twenty seventeen, he maintained the computer was used by everyone in the laboratory, and not his personal property. Combined. With the stab wounds inflicted on Vol's genitalia, God, God, investigators yeah. began to suspect a relation between Vol's murder and a torture fetish. And yes, her vagina was stabbed, well, her body was stabbed about 37 times. Oh, please tell me she was dead. They don't know. Oh, God. The vaginal wounds they think were just before death. But he stabbed the body a lot as well to let air out of them, or stabbed it in the lungs. Let the air out so it'd sink better. Fuck me. This guy. So when they <sighs> searched Madsen's recovered submarine, they discovered, along with Vore's blood, an array of suspicious tools. A sharpened 20-inch screwdriver, a saw, a hose and straps. Prosecutors questioned whether Madsen planned Vore's murder and he argued on the stand he needed the hose for cleaning purposes, the screwdriver to use as a marker for diving and the saw to build wooden shelves. He said he didn't have plywood of the shelves, so he planned to bring it with him next time he went on the submarine. This is like a ten-year-old coming up with excuses. He's supposed to be a fucking genius, or at least close to. He's like the Elon Musk of Denmark. (laughs) You don't think about it. He's like the Elon Musk of Denmark. I'm going to go into space. I've got this submarine. Yeah, but Elon, Elon Musk is using, like, the traditional technologies that we use to do these things rockets spaceships this cunt has got a fucking shitty workshop yeah. next to the docks in fucking denmark right with a load of kids working for free yeah like, what was it, shop, Elon Musk. it was <laughs> <laughs> it was a tesco value space travel <laughs> Fuck this. that submarine cost about two hundred thousand dollars Bear in mind, he doesn't pay for any of it. No, it's all fucking donations. donations yeah. He's living the dream. That's yeah. what I say. What well, if I could get hold of the cunt before he murdered it? You're, you're on the cusp. You're literally living the fucking dream. Yeah. The thing is, I guarantee you, if you were going to send a person up so high in the rocket, and then, like, the top bit where they're sat breaks off and comes back down, you'd do that first, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. You'd do it in stages. So, we're going to do the rocket, see how far that goes. Next step put someone on it or put a, a dog or a cat or whatever like the Russians did I don't know mm. I don't know what his plans were apart from killing people he'd probably going to murder a journalist and use her body I think he'd going to go himself yeah. do you think he'd have gone himself or do you think he'd have sent one of their unpaid interns up first he went on the test flight didn't he, he, seems no, he like went the on, the, on the gyroscope oh, that was oh is that what it's called the G-force thing yeah he test the G-force yeah. thing yeah he went on that, yeah. which I thought was actually fairly brave because I wouldn't trust the fuck out of that <laughs> if you guys said to me hey Ben Wanna come and test this gyroscope that we built down by the docks? Oh, was, was it no? Made, was it no, made, I don't. Was it made by NASA? Oh no, no, no! We made it. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. We made it out of scrap with. But, and as, oh, any of you? Has it got loads of computers plugged into it, monitoring everything? No, no, no. It's uh, very analog. No, it's literally got a firework. We basically light it with a lighter, <laughs> a fuse, <laughs> and then we run. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. You must imagine just fucking at full speed just comes up and goes into the fucking sea. <laughs> Bye, Pete. <laughs> fucking hell. Fuck me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But I, would he have gone up first? Mm. Do you think he'd have gone up when it was like, okay, we've done five and the person's come back five, uh, five times? He wants to be the first into space. Yeah, he would yeah. have done it. I he don't think he's going to let anyone else. suborbital. I don't think he's going to let anyone else, else do that. Yeah, I think he'd mm. do the suborbital test flights where it's like, mm. we're going to go to the very brink and then it's all going to detach and they're all going to pa- and they're going to parachute the, the mm. module back down. The re-entry vehicle's going to 
Like the one William Shatner did? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mate, have you seen the clip of... He comes back, he's landed, he's, he's having a really profound he moment. Is. He's been incredible, he's moved to tears. He's talking about, like, the black death and the yeah. thin veneer of life. And like, Bezos is there like, hey, Captain Kirk! Champagne! He's like, You've been a fucking space! Come on, celebrate! He's like, I, I saw the thin veneer between life and death. And he's like, champers! like, <laughs> fucking hell, Bezos! What a twat. Get out the fucking way, let the man be poetic. Anyway. Let so. him sing Rocket Man. <laughs> <laughs> sing Rocket Man. <laughs> so... That's an interesting bit there. Key witnesses maintained the screwdriver wouldn't need to be sharpened to act as a diving marker. Because, yeah, it's like you've, sh you've sharpened screwdrivers. I'm no engineer. There's other tools. Like, you don't need to sharpen no. a screwdriver. You want to mark something, use a tool or a, a knife, a, a pencil, something that's made for <laughs> that. Yeah, but, like, anyone who's sharpening a screwdriver, come on, there's, like... I don't That's see what he needs a diving marker for. I'm not even sure if I know what one is. I mean, Maybe. surely if he's got... That's probably why he's got the, the portholes. Yeah. Is so he can, like... Because I don't think that thing goes... like We're not talking that thing's going, like, 100 feet underwater. It's no. probably just submersing itself. Yeah. Or maybe not even the... the con, you know, maybe the conning tower just dips below and then... That's, I don't think it's going deep. Mm. Yeah. And so maybe it's, like, something to do with the... The portholes, he has to mark something on that. Oh, right, okay. So, it's to do with dive rate, or... Mm. But you wouldn't use a fucking screwdriver to scratch your portholes, it's making it weaker. No, he's, has anyone got a Stanley knife? I just think the act, that is psychotic to me. If I ever saw someone sharpening a screwdriver <laughs> in a workshop, I'd be like, just... Just run. <laughs> just run. Like, what, what's that for, mate? Yeah. There's no good answer, is there? No, it's for stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could not find a knife. If you think about it, a screwdriver is actually... It's, it's a pretty precise kind of stabby thing, isn't it? It's, it's going to be better than a knife, isn't it? So you sturdy handle. It's the smaller wounds. If you wanted mm. to keep them alive to get your kicks. Oh, I can't bear... Just mm. think... I want you to think about this. Think how small it was on that sub and you're going down and the moment that he turned... Oh god! The you, fear. He gets the straps. You oh, the god, straps yeah. get fear. Straps get falls the strap torn. Now, fear. now we're going to have some fun, and you're like, "What the oh fuck?" Oh my god! He must. He probably beat her about the head or something mm. first, because she'd have resisted. Uh, so he's probably tried to. He's not. He's beat her to beat her up, tied her up, uh, then proceeded to force himself upon to, her. Did he, did he um, rape her? Uh, to be fair, that wasn't actually released, but we can only go with the fact that he killed her. Come. Let's face it, yeah. it's his kink. Mm. He's getting off somewhere along this room. Yeah. Oh, the stab yeah. wounds in the vagina might not just be a torture thing, it might be a a, ref, a, a reflection of self-loathing in a way, the mm. betrayal of... Reckon he strapped a knife to him? He had straps and things, didn't he? I thought they would have been strapped for her, to be strapped for her to restrain her. Not oh. fucking with a strap on blade. Oh. I mean, who's to fucking say, I don't oh. know what went on, and I'm going to release it if they did. Because that's the thing of watching the torture porn is he it wasn't just the murder he wanted to torture yeah. them yeah. he wanted them to be terrified and wants that fear in their eyes. <sighs> God, poor woman. You know he killed her to mm. come. Let's not yeah get you know, let's not get away from that. Because this is what I found the reason why I, why I picked this because the actual story itself is not it's just you know. If there wasn't a submarine involved, it would just be another murder, wouldn't it? But to yeah. me, it was the, watching that documentary and the fact that this murderer is being filmed on the morning yeah, of the well, murder. Been filmed for months all the way up. Yeah, leading up. So you, you, yeah. And you've got this... That, that's when they show back them little clips, yeah. and it, it's like, oh, yeah, that, that's worrying. It's that, just, yeah. yeah. On the morning that he does it, he's just sat there, you know, doing an yeah. interview with the... See, that's where in my mind I'd be like, all oh, these fantasies you're having, Gaz, isn't this better than being interviewed and the TV cameras? Yeah, and like, I can conceal the darkness. Yeah, I want the keep fame. That, keep that in the box and let's go with this. Nah, he couldn't keep it in the box, could he? He let the lid off. It's the escalation, isn't it? It's, I yeah, still maintain, if you fucking Google snuff films, nothing should fucking come up. Well, man. surely that should just instantly fucking red flag your yeah. computer and send a message to the police. Yeah. But, well, it does but if you then if it, you Google fucking 
kiddie porn mm. or something. Yeah, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Your, it would, IP, your, address, IP, your IP address would yeah. flash bing, straight bing, away. Bing, yeah, and someone's going to come and knock on the door. I just don't think, fuck it out. It's crazy, man. You shouldn't be able to watch snuff films. But fuck but me, some... my Facebook feed has got snuff films on it. Well, yeah, yeah, I know there's, there's said... people being smashed up by cars, dying, fucking shootouts, fucking. It's all there. I might as well cat videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fucked my own algorithm by watching too many street fights. But it, it's then made the leap thinking, oh, if he likes street fights, he might. He's going to love a shootout. No, I just said that. And he takes it down uh, I just seen that man's head explode. I don't, I, no, <laughs> no. But yeah, so, so that. What I don't like is the idea that the fucking terror. He would have. He tortured her, didn't he? Oh. All them little stab wounds. Because how many were, were that? Dirty. She had, I don't know if they were all with a screwdriver. He was like thirty-seven oh. stab wounds on, oh, her, on her body. Oh god. Terrified on a submarine that was be smaller, like thinner than this room, and like. Yeah, knowing, yeah, yeah, knowing there is no no one to contact. It, have you watched It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? No, but I know what it is. But... There's a, there's an episode of Sunny in Philadelphia where they buy a boat. Right. And Dennis, who's like a bit of a sexual psychopath, anyway, he's right. like, oh, so you know, we we tell these women we've got a boat, we yeah. bring them back to the boat, we yeah. go out to sea, and we have sex with them. But what if they don't want to have sex with us? We don't want to have sex with us because of the implication they can't go anywhere. Oh, God, they, they're gonna have sex with us. <laughs> Or else, <laughs> even though we don't say that, it's mm. the implication. It's all about the and this. And I was thinking that when I was watching. I was like, Man, mm. it was the implication with him. I'm going to tie you up and fuck you and torture mm. you. You've got nowhere to go. You've got no say in this. No. I am the only one that knows how to fucking pilot this thing. Yeah. Because if you put us three in a submarine, right. it'd sink. But here's the next thing. Let's say he takes me on there. Let's say he was gay. And I'm a journalist, and he takes me on there, and I manage to kill the cunt in self-defence. Yeah. Right. Whew. Survive oh, that. God, that was a close call. Right, now I'm just going to ring one of them interns just to talk me through how I... Oh, there's no signal. I'm a mile underwater. Right then, let's have a look at these dials. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm fucked. I'm going to yeah. fucking... St- <laughs> fucking hell. I suppose there's either up or down, isn't there? I... <laughs> I don't, I don't think. Know. Don't. <laughs> and I hope it's labelled yeah. really big. <laughs> up, down. <laughs> That's the thing. Is, is, submarines, are, even modern military submarines, are notoriously complicated. Mm. Right? You press the, You have someone who's know what they're doing. Mm. It's a fucking death trap for everybody. Yeah. I mean, you can you can U boats in World War Two sunk mm. because people didn't know how to flush the toilet. <laughs> There's a method to flushing a toilet on a submarine. Yeah. You fuck it up, you sink the whole thing. Fuck me. Right? You go too far down, things start imploding, rivets are popping out, water's coming in. Oh, it's mate. terrifying. <laughs> it's not the way I want to die. No. Where's Franz? Oh, no. No, <laughs> no that stupid cunt. <laughs> Franz! Did anyone tell you about a flush the toilet? <laughs> Is it number one or number two? <laughs> Oh, in the past, that has sank submarines. Yeah, 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 yeah. U-boats have sank. Oh, well, no, just U-boats. Apparently, he had a bit of a fascination with Nazis, too. Yeah. Did Haven't you know this? Did... <laughs> I wonder what that uniform was. <laughs> Did you notice that he was always wearing German overalls? Do you know, I was going to say... Now, it wasn't necessarily the flag. But you know how I said, like... off. I think it was off mic, I said that I actually found him before the murder, like, fairly, you know charismatic like do you know what I think it is I think I've got a soft spot for a man in a jumpsuit <laughs> and I don't mean sexually I just think if he's wearing a flight suit that's a, a tanker's overalls well, am I well, tank crewman's overalls well I'm in if you're wearing <laughs> that I'm in I'm Ghostbusters alright I'll give you that one jet fighter pilots you yeah, know like yeah. Star Trek even like if you're in a fucking flight suit like I'm I'm paying attention. That, that man knows his shit. He could probably change a wheel on a car. <laughs> I bet he knows how to put a plug on. Yeah. He's watched him ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. There's just something about a flight suit. It does scream expertise. Because <laughs> yeah. they don't give them to anyone, do they? <laughs> but, you know, he was in a weird, almost World War Two-ish SS camouflage pattern. Mm. Yeah, it's weird that it was like military-esque, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
he had the, uh, we did, he, but uh, there was one point. I didn't that, expect something like that, and then we But in, no, I expect I them to be wearing scrappy, shitty jumpsuits, mm. but mm. why did the, you're Danish, you're occupied by the Germans, why are you wearing German gear? Yeah, yeah. I've had it, I've had a German jacket before with it, you've had it as well. Mm. I cut the patch, I cut the flags off mine. <laughs> did you? I was a bit um, shocked. Our friend, um, shirt, German flag, it? It our friend in common who lives upstairs was wearing a hoodie and I was looking at the back of the hoodie and I said, it looked very sort of SS to me, this logo. Very fucking... Oh, I never had that. Very, <laughs> no, it was very on the... I was like, what the fuck is that hoodie you're wearing? He was like, oh yeah, it's Rammstein. That's their logo. I said, that's a bit close yeah. to fucking. He said, they yeah, got their logo, I, then. I do get some comments and things. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I can see. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's their logo, but whatever is on the back of this hoodie is very... Oh, they have a very... nazi S. There's an eagerly type mm. logo. Yeah. Mm. And it's, ju- it's just very... Mm. Did they I know have, what you're saying. During the Nazis, did they have the German flag? It wasn't, was it? They, they no, changed that's, it to the no. Nazi flag. It was a swastika, yeah. yeah. The, the black... Yellow and oh god, what's the other colour? Orange. Is Orange is yellow, yeah. isn't it? Yellow. Is it yellow? Black, gold, and uh, you know the one I'm on about the German yeah, flag. The German flag. <laughs> I'm not an expert on flags. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that was bought in after the war. Yeah, that's yeah. The, the German Democratic Republic's flag or whatever it is. Right. So um, it's not quite Nazi then. But at one point in that documentary, and I picked mm. it up because I'm a bit of a fucking World War Two buff. <laughs> He had a German fucking what they call a forage cap, a little bit, kind of a bit of cap with a with a, with a visor, like a baseball cap, but not quite. Right. And I'm certain it was fucking World War Two vintage. Right. Well, okay. it wouldn't. I mean, the guy's going to fetish clubs. He's definitely dressing up as a fucking and rubber, were, they, rubber they, SS officer. They were saying like on this podcast I listened to as well, like, oh, you know, he definitely had a thing. His dad got him into the Nazi thing because he mm. hear hero worship Werner von Braun. Right. Who, of course, your father of the space program, mm. also a Nazi, mm-hmm. as most people who worked at NASA in the fifties were. Yeah, but Operation like, oh, Project Paper. Paper, Project Paper. 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 But when they're in the submarine, they do like lines from Das Boot. It's like, well, so would I. Mm. It's yeah. a, I'm in a fucking submarine. It's the best submarine movie out there. Yeah. Do you know? Never seen Das Boot. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I've never seen it all no. the way through. No, my German's not. The best, but does that translate to the boot? The boat. The boat. Oh, the boat. Because a U boat is an undersea booter. Ah. It's an undersea boat. Fucking hell, you don't get your boots and your boats mixed up. Uh-huh. Fuck me. Have you gone underwater? No. <laughs> well, I'm very surprised that the word in German for boat is boot and not boot <laughs> You ever seen them memes where it's like yeah. the word for pen? In Italian, penne, French, penuvi. And German is literally a something, something, something scribing. <laughs> Fucking pen. Yeah. But yeah, so Pete was a. He had a bit of a hard on for Nazis, allegedly. Women torture. Yeah, he was, he was married. He had two mistresses, though. Yeah. They're all weird relationships, yeah. yeah. There's always like weirdness. So. He faced charges of voluntary manslaughter, indecent handling of a corpse, and sexual assault. He entered a not guilty plea on March 8th, 2018, despite the pornographic murder videos found on his laptop, (laughs) DNA evidence, and his confessions about dismembering and dumping Vaughan's body. Denmark's prosecutors sought a life sentence for Madsen and pushed to have Madsen's summary confiscated with the intent of destruction. 17 years for a life sentence. I was just about to say, in Denmark, 17 years. But although he's got a bit longer, though, now, hasn't he? He has. We'll get to that at the end. So, yeah. Peter, or P.T. Madsen. P.T. motherfucking Madsen. (laughs) He gets his 17 years in prison. Life sentence in Denmark. Mm -hmm. Which I think is fucking notoriously light. Yeah. It's a bit, and it's not life, is it? No, I'm no. just leading, it, it? Don't call it life sentence. Yeah, yeah it's just misleading. Because yeah. it's not a life sentence. Mm. I genuinely think if you've killed someone, they should lock you up till you die. I don't know. I think, think there's got to maybe there's got to be some kind of reform after a certain amount of time. Yeah, I suppose. But there's some crimes that yeah. should just be. If you've done that, you are not I mean, part of society. No, you're, you're a right, psychopath. Yeah. For this, he is a psychopath. For yeah. this, I'd actually argue the death penalty. No, I'd argue. Yeah. Well, because this is premeditated. He's gone out there with that. Ex- I'm going to kill this woman mm. on my submarine. And maybe if he'd have got away with it, who's to say he wouldn't have killed another? And, and another? 
And how yeah. do we know he hasn't? He's not going to spend seventeen years planning and plotting the next one. Exactly. The second he gets well, is out. There, can there be any reform for him because he is a psychopath? <sighs> That's the thing. He, do, he, you know, he has you're no saying... empathy for anybody else. No. He said himself in that video, he's a, a psychopath out there. They want it, they use people and they actually despise the people that, that help them. Yeah. They think they're idiots and they, they want to punish them. Of course he thinks they're idiots, they're working for him for yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting all the money. Whereas we'd be like, fuck man, you know, thanks for your help, yeah. your dedication that you're putting in. And you see the name yeah. of the fucking boat? Achieved it without yeah. you. He's like, you fucking, yeah. you simple cunt, you know. Yeah, you fucking simple cunt. Right. You're fucking sick of I fans. wouldn't do what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Right, the guy that's Sorry, sorry, Michael. Like, the guys who are helping him, mm. right, lived on a fucking little boat that was propped up on the docks, didn't they? Yeah. You see that in the documentary? Yeah, what is it and called? it was called the Fool something. Uh, and, and you're like, so yeah, he thinks they're fucking idiots. Yeah. They're working. He's giving. They're yeah. giving him their yeah. expertise for nothing, and he's the one who's getting the donations. How much it? of it was his ideas and all the ideas of the? Mm. the, the yeah, that's people. the thing, because yeah. he never passed a degree, no, or like, and these are all like brilliant he young people. He's taking credit, that's why the other right, team what... kicked him out, because he's... Possibly. Trying to take credit for everything when he... And he might have been shit. Yeah, he yeah. might have been. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, Peter, you're rude, just sitting there thinking, how can I fucking murder somebody? Well, everyone's doing all that. We're thinking about how to get this rocket in the <laughs> air, right? And you fucking watching murder porn. Yeah, you're jacking off to saw in the background. <laughs> fucking hell, Peter. Could back, couldn't he? He could have had hardly yeah. anything to do with it. No, that's the issue you got. Can you reform a psychopath? He's highly intelligent. Mm. He's a, he's like an Elon Musk crossed with a Hannibal Lecter. Mm. Well, when we we're gonna discuss something in a second, he, he, it's just comic book villain to me. Yeah. It's just you can't leave him in a room on his own because he'll construct something. He's no Doctor Doom. Though. No, no, but you know, no. or who's that fucking TV MacGyver? He's, Mac- you know he's, he's MacGyver. Like, like leave him alone with a couple of lollipop sticks and a rubber band, and like, you know he's, he's made a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> so you you think that might be the end of it, right? He gets his seventeen years, he goes to jail peacefully. You will enjoy it, except with a lack of torture porn, <laughs> right? But then he tries to escape. Well, he he does escape. He does escape. Well, he tries. He's caught, but he does escape. Not for long, but he, he does escape. So he then gets an extra 19 months on his sentence, which is quite light. He used a fake, he managed to use a fake gun and fake explosives to get out of prison, was caught less than half a mile from the jail five minutes later. And this was in 2021. Right. Have you seen the video? Because I, if I'm I going to, seen the video. if I'm going to jail, send me to Denmark. Because it's just comical. You see him like running like Benny Hill across a courtyard, <laughs> and there's literally somebody chasing him, going, "Peter, oh, Peter!" God. They're like, "He ain't stopping me." <laughs> <laughs> trouble Peter oh. he's going to change the sign like goes on z- zero days of that escape <laughs> he, oh. and he like constructed from what I heard it said there a fake gun and fake explosives I heard that he created like a fake suicide belt fucking hell he took a so uh, oh, what's the word a psychiatrist took her hostage yeah. Shows her the fucking, you know, look at my explosive belt I have constructed from whatever was in this cell. I'm a genius. Yeah, I'm a genius. You left me in here and I took everything to bits and put together <laughs> something that looks convincingly enough. You could have had access to a workshop at the prison. Oh, that's the, I don't know. Tony Stark made a fucking Iron Man suit <laughs> out of some fucking... In a cave! In a cave <laughs> with bits of scrap metal. He's got access to a fucking state-of-the-art Danish prison and all he made was a fucking fake suicide belt. He's a fucking fraud, mate, is what he is. <laughs> There's this brilliant picture of him, though. Like, it says less than half a mile. There's this amazing photograph of him. They've sat him down, like, you know, when you, as you sit as a kid with your legs crossed. They've tied him, handcuffed him to a, a lamppost that's behind him. And he's just sitting there like a naughty little boy with, like, all these fucking guns and snipers <laughs> a safe enough distance. But they're all just like, yeah, we don't know if that's real or not, and we've got to check, so <laughs> you just sit there. I'd love to see a picture of it, though. They haven't, there isn't any, though, is there? I wish somebody would have took a picture of his fake fucking gun belt. 
No, sadly not. Bum belt. I love that picture of him in the submarine, though, looking, like, mysterious. Oh, God. Peter Madsen, pictured in 2008. Oh, Pete. Uh, Ten years before the murder, then. You yeah. really did fuck your life up. <laughs> but this yeah. is... He just... He, the guy wanted this cool of personality. I, I watched it, Watching the documentary, I thought, this dude's a fucking narcissist. Yeah. Prison staff who chased Madsen, one of Denmark's most notorious criminals, they saw him jump into a passing white van and inform police. Madsen told the court in nearby Glostrup he'd been planning to hijack cars, take the owner's phones and move south, heading for Germany. And what does he think's going to happen when he gets to Germany? Yeah, and they're going to go, come on in, Peter. What's yeah. your name? <laughs> Peter? <laughs> I know he's got blonde hair and blue eyes, but it ain't the third right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <lost. he's, laughs> maybe he's thinking he could make a fourth. <laughs> fourth right. Yeah, the next Hitler. Yeah, Probably. You're not the Peter who... You never had a submarine, have you, Peter? No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I had a U-boot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot swim. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't have some excuses for his escape attempt. You know, like he, he, said, it was, he said it was... Un, the conditions were terrible. Which it, I refuse... It's prison, mate! I refuse to believe Danish prisons are that bad. Nah, no, I bet there's pastry... Of course there is. <laughs> I bet you've got your own little room, TV. I bet if you complain hard enough, like, you know, it's been a very long time since I had this ex, and, you know, I feel a little bit sad. There'll be a fucking... You'll have a room full of hookers tomorrow. I bet if he asked for a laptop so we could watch some torture porn, they'd bring one in for Just him. Just a little bit of torture porn. But you're not going to torture and kill anyone, are you, Peter? No. All right, then. Half an hour. Mm. Peter, are you making a submarine in there? <laughs> no. Is that a submarine with wings? <laughs> Where are you going with that wood saw? <laughs> Who let Peter in the workshop? Yeah, why are you giving him access to saws <laughs> and screwdrivers? He's an engineer. I know you've got to... You can't rehabilitate him by telling him stuff he already knows. You've got to teach him something new. Teach him how to knit. It, mate, I suppose if I was one of those guards at the prison, I've got no science knowledge. Look... Peter, that can't be a real bomb. There is nothing in here that can explode. Uh, but is there? Did you do chemistry? Oh, now you've said it. Yeah, yeah there is that. Uh, yeah. All right, then, off you fuck. <laughs> mm. You've got a suicide belt, have you? Try it, then. Because <laughs> I don't think you're going to blow yourself up. Narcissists don't, do they? No. They won't. He won't. Of you course, won't. Because he's a narcissist, he appealed his fucking conviction. <laughs> He, he appealed it on what grounds? The fucking torso came back up, Peter! It had 37 stab wounds! You put a knife in her, Fanny! You cut her head off! <laughs> no jury's gonna quit you from that, mate. The conditions are very bad. <laughs> fucking yeah! Oh my god, I just had a horrible thought. Oh no, what's up? You don't think he fucked the windpipe, do you? You don't think he cut the head off and fucked oh, the God. throat and fucked the neck? Fuck. I, don't know. I hope he was more concerned with, fuck, I need some plastic bags <laughs> and scrap metal. Oh, you don't know. You don't know what the... You, they never, obviously, they never said what went on, but he abused, he sexually assaulted, and, and the, probably the body. I don't, I don't think he was into the necrophilia, maybe. Maybe that didn't go on. Mm. I don't know. Well, there was a lot of criticism about the case, because you know the Danes love their crime. The right. crime stories, a girl with a dragon tattoo and all that, yeah, you know. Yeah. There was a lot of, like, criticism of, of the Danish media who were treating this like, you know, one of the Danish crime no yeah, thrillers. Yeah, but right. Danish crime novels, you know, they're intricate and, and complex. This is hardly that, is it? No, no it's just the, this is the ravings of a lunatic in this court, is... even though he's supposed to be clever. Yeah. It's not the ladybird fucking version of it. <laughs> just drunk on his own hubris. I think that's the best way to describe yeah. him, actually. A yeah. narcissist drunk on his own hubris. Believed his own bullshit. He says he did apologise to the victim's family. Oh, that's nice of him. Oh, what a nice lad. I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. From him. Mm. Were you? Well, If he claims he's innocent, why is he apologising? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a valid point. If you're innocent, Pete, which you're not, we know you're not, because you stabbed her that many times, but if, if there was, imagine if there was some poisoning or something, 
you just take it back to shore. Yeah. And you just, I, I'm, I'm I fucked up. mortified. I'm absolutely, something's gone wrong. Terrible she, accident. You need to do a post-mortem. I'll do all the interviews, find out what went wrong, what killed her. You don't you know, take it upon yourself ball. to bury a body at no. sea. No. No. One, one little thing I'd like to say, one sick thing when you watch that back, you know the footage of when they've just rescued him and he does the thumbs up and that. Apparently, he's still got some of her blood on his, a speck oh, of blood fuck. on his nose. Oh, yeah. That's the DNA that they found. Yeah, it it was, was just a speck. Now, I was thinking as well, cutting up a body and to not be, I would have expected him to be head to toe in gore. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. He, didn't have a, he had one fucking speck they found on his nose. Mad, didn't it? I wonder There's got to be a way of doing it. Did he? Oh, I wouldn't do it. a case to stop the blood. I don't know. Did did I, don't know. I never looked well, into this one the body. No, no, no. Right. He sank the thing, don't he? So, although they did recover it, I was thinking, did he put other overalls on top mm. of the ones? Would he have covered the body in plastic and, oh, and, done, it and, and done it that way? To catch the blood? I mean, you'd have coated the fucking place in plastic, yeah. wouldn't you? And that would have gone overboard yeah. as well. Oh, what movie is that? Lethal Weapon 2. Because he, he kills the guy... And there's all this plastic on the floor because they're decorating. He shoots him. He falls down. And they wrap him up in the plastic. Yeah. And then later on, he's talking to another henchman, and he looks at the floor and he's, "What are you doing? I'm just checking. I'm not standing on plastic." <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, if I went in a submarine and you'd lined it with plastic, deck? Are you painting, Pete? <laughs> no, no painting. Right. Okay then. Well, this is fucking creepy. Well, the, the main part for him really was the fact that it, they, the submarine didn't sink fully did it mm. they got to him before it sunk fully mm. so either he didn't he's on obviously on the up on the deck on the yeah. conning tower he mm. set the things for it to sink yeah and then he gets rescued mm. bada bing bada boom mm. but the some they got managed to fucking get that submarine with i don't know how they do it they get something under it keep yeah. it afloat crime scenes preserved his idea was i'll sink that fucking thing yeah I'll get some money for a new one because I'll get crowdfunded. I'll have the Nautilus too. Yeah. I know where to do it. Crime scene's gone. Yeah. Jobs are good and... Yeah. Fucking arsehole. Yes. <laughs> and like I say, I, the fucker, he had me at first before he started killing people. Well, one person. Would I, you have been his intern? If I was any use to him, I mean, I, probably, I don't do anything for free these days. Could have made the tea. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'd have been a good tea. I could, I'm more like, could sweep up with a broom. Now, we're talking about a young, impressionable guys. I could have probably got sucked up by his, like, you, what, we're building a what? We're going to do yeah. fucking... Yeah, man, you, you're wearing a flight suit. You see what you're doing. I'll follow anyone in a flight yeah. suit. You're looking if, like, if that's you're what you're really into, he's giving me the chance to do it in yeah, hands-on to experience. To live your dream. Yeah. I mean, build I feel sorry for the guys. Yeah. Can you yeah. imagine if you're a hardcore into engineering, the prospect of building a submarine mm. is like, fuck it, yes, come on then. Well, and a space rocket, let's well, face yeah. it, you know, it's, you know, you, you've got to work for NASA to do yeah. that, haven't you? But Even if you never it. actually get there, knowing that, well, we're going to try, we're going to work all yeah. this out and try and see what the yeah. best rocket we can build is, like, yeah. They were devastated, weren't they? When yeah. they realised what, it happened. Well, you could see that they cared for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the end, they had, you see him all packing their stuff away and that's it, the dream's over. He's yeah. destroyed it for everyone. Yeah. Back to university they go. Yeah. Oh, guys, go and find a paying job. Yeah, that'll be good. Go and work for Copenhagen. Yeah. So go over, yeah, that over, they probably did. They probably did, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If anyone listening, the main thing is to go and check out that documentary because it's genuinely fascinating unsettling and it's just I think an incredibly rare opportunity I can't think of a single other time where a murderer has been interviewed for something completely different a, te- a documentary about him yeah. on the morning yeah. and you and well, all the things leading up to it but like the fact that you've got footage of him on the morning and then afterwards, no. you've got footage of him trying to be thumbs up and act all like, yeah, everything's cool. There was nobody else on the boat. Bollocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Fucking prick. I wonder why he chose to... I wonder why he chose her specifically when he had any number of unpaid female interns or he could have just... I think it was just whoever whoever agreed to go on that fucking sub with him... Yeah. Alone. ...was going to get it, yeah, alone... 
because he'd built himself he couldn't take it anyway he had to do it he went and did it didn't he look why yeah. why did he do that I think he just worked himself into a frenzy he's like the, mm. the porn wasn't enough he needed the real thing he, yeah you know and it's it's the same it's, it's escalation it's the same as when we say oh the elites are all fucking kids or why are they fucking kids because they've done everything they can do yeah. and they can't get off anymore unless they have a new thing. Yeah. And it's escalation, isn't it? I'm not defending it, but no, it's no, just no. the imagination. But There's it's like psychopaths mainly start with animals, don't they? Yeah, yeah that's true they, enough. Yeah. That's true. There is an interview. You remember the movie, the documentary, Beyond the Mat? Did you ever watch the that? Back? It was the first ever like behind-the-scenes wrestling documentary. And Anyway, they're interviewing Jake the Snake. He's off his tits on crack in a yeah. hotel. And he's talking about this. He's like, when you're on the road, he's like, he talks like that. Anyway, when you're on the road, you have sex with two women, three women, three women and toys, four women and toys. And then you've got to go back home and have vanilla missionary with your wife. He's like, yeah. it's just, you know, can't get off anymore. anymore. Yeah, it's the same. It's just mm. the escalation, isn't it? But, well, so in conclusion, don't, in conclusion, <laughs> don't follow eccentric Danish entrepreneurs. No, don't be ever be alone on a sub. Never go into a submarine on your own. No, but again, no victim. It's no. Oh God, no, no. She had no way of no. knowing that was going to happen. Hey, she's um, been. She had been in worse places mm. than on a submarine mm. with a Dana, Danish minor celebrity. Mm-hmm. She's probably thinking, this is a piece of piss. Yeah. Wrap yeah, this man. up, get paid, fuck off to China. Jobs are good. Yeah. I do think, I think I heard, well, I, I don't think I heard, I did hear that her parents set up some sort of fund in her name that goes to help, like, female, I think it might be female journalists mm. in countries where they're not encouraged Safe to be. Or, yeah. or women. Yeah. It's definitely something to help women in her name, so that... That's good thing. Something that's yeah. out of it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think on that note, we should probably end the show. Yeah, man. I've been Ben. Don't do the play raid. Don't join the call. I've been Mike. Thanks for listening. Peace out. Free Fifth Tanner. Yay! 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 It's been a while. <laughs>